Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he will get into the end zone to bump the lead up to three scores. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. This is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Andy Dalton. That one complete to the former Seminole, Auden Tate. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Auden Tate, 39 yards. And the Bengals are able to draw a bit closer. After allowing that last score, the defense knows they've got to tighten things up. Otherwise, they'll let them right back into the game. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. It's up, it's good. That'll make the score line 20 to 10. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Tyler Lockett was the target there. That'll bring up second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. This is Carson. Still on his feet. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf, 67 yards. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Jim. 
still an important piece of business to take care of the extra point. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And that one goes virtually nowhere. Try the fake extra point, but nothing comes of it. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and, oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward, it's just not there. That's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. And this is going to be snuffed down. The Bengals recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Dalton, first and 10. Got his man, it's Eifert. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first and 10, here's Andy Dalton. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Passing again, Dalton on second and 10. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far, brings up third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Trey Flowers picks it. The 40, the 30, 10, and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. So now a two-point conversion attempt coming for Wilson and the Seahawks. It'll be Carson. They run for it. Breaks free again. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team 
and we were losing late in the game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Another look for Dalton on second and 10. And the catch good, it's Eifert. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Here's Dalton, and his throw is incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And now it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Dalton with a give here to Mixon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. And watch the slant. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Returnable for Lockett. Runs through the contact. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and shake hands. Yes. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. DK Metcalf. An 80-yard touchdown. Here the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle, I get that, but there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it, on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know it was really excited fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. the touchdown here's Myers to boot it away this is taken just shy of the 10 here and a good effort on the return there gets him across the 30 to the 33 yard line Cincinnati now ready to take the field they're down big here late I don't know what you just one last drive here for pride some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And he lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line.
Michael Team! Bitte nah, bitte nah. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. It's complete to lock it. A gain of 39 that time. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Now Wilson. And this will be caught. Well, forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that <laughs> as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. And if the late touchdown wasn't bad enough, now they're going to go for two. So sportsmanship, nowhere to be found right here. Here's Wilson. And it's caught for two points. Very interesting way to end this one. They add on a couple extra that they really didn't need. Partner, I think the thing I'm going to take away from this game is that ending. Still hard to believe. They score on the final play, and then for some salt on the wound, they go for two just to widen the margin. Not to mention they already had the lead when they scored on the final <laughs> play. So... I don't know if everyone on the team is a fantasy football player and they're like, hey, get more points for our guys. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe a coach is looking ahead and saying, you know something, the more points we have might be the tiebreaker. But boy, what a way to finish it. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.